Peace. This MJ will wake up news. I'll be offering my commentary pertaining to the subject or title that you clicked on in a few moments. Peace. This is MJ with Wake Up News. Dane Dash exes sue Lee Daniels for one million of settlement money. The messy legal drama between Lee Daniels and Dane Dash has continued as TMZ has reported that two of Dash's exes are now suing Daniels to get their cut of a settlement, excuse me, reached between the two men in 2018. According to legal docs obtained by the network, Rachel Roy and Cindy Morales are going after Daniels because they say they're the rightful owners of the settlement money reached in recent $5 million lawsuit. Following reports that the Rockefeller co-founder owes hundreds of thousands to the women in unpaid child support. As Roy, who has two daughters with Dash, is claiming that he owes her $826,000. $166 in back child support and other expenses Morales is claiming she's owed $244,000 as the mother of his son meanwhile both women have said that Dash hasn't paid them more than $5 in child support for 2019 despite the fact that he reached an unspecified settlement with Daniels this past November for that reason, the two women have essentially decided to cut out the middleman and deal with Daniels directly to receive their payouts. While Dash has maintained that his exes are simply lying about him not taking care of his children. Now, I do hope that Dame Dash and Lee Daniels and all of them are able to get a cap on this situation i know dame has been pretty upset about it for a while and you know it's 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 <laughs> it can be frustrating you know if if what he's saying is true if lee daniels owes him that amount of money i know it can be a little mind-boggling when you loan or lend somebody some money on good faith that they will repay you you know, especially if the brother has the means, we have to be morally right with each other. That's the only way that we can suck good from karma and the principles of freedom, justice, and equality and truth that this universe is founded on, brothers and sisters. We can't never get to the point where we think Oh, I owe this brother this amount of money so I can't repay him. Hell, if you can't repay him, be honest about it. And then let him know as soon as you get it, you'll repay him or you'll set up a payment plan. You know, some of us got that about us. You know, we, we uh, borrow money from people and don't pay them back. And it's sad, man. And, um, you know, per what Dame Dash's exes are saying is that he hasn't paid them any child support in 2019 and we all know that that's a dangerous potential situation they're dealing with that child support there you know there there you get you allow that amount to get too high they'll, they'll lock you up over that child support money so to all my brothers out there man do whatever you gotta do pertaining to your child support to stay caught up if you gotta work two jobs work two jobs brother work two jobs do it grind man grind you know your children are worth it you know even if you don't have the children and the mother's keeping the children well at least you can go to sleep at night knowing that you're doing your part from a financial level right that should give you some peace in your heart. Well, some brothers say, well, you know, the mother is the one benefiting and not the child. Well, it's like, man, say, bro, you got to look at it from a bigger perspective. You know, that woman carried that child for nine months in her womb, brother. She went to death's door to deliver your child. In some cases, some women, you know, have to 
get a C-section and, and you know, stuff of that nature. But, and really childbirth is a pain that the creator wanted our women to experience. But some of our women's health are so bad that in some cases a C-section is almost necessary. But in most cases over probably 80-90% is just these practitioners rushing the process trying to hurry up and make money and uh, you know do, do what they do. You know, they're, they're, it's a business. They trying to get on to the next person, so they want to induce the baby. They want to have a C-section, right? But I hope that, you know, Dame is able to rectify the child support situation. I doubt it. Two women are honestly lying. I mean, they could be, but, <laughs> you know... Uh, but I, I hope everything works out, brothers. Let's stay on top of our child support. Let's, let's take care of our children. Um, let's go above and beyond for our families, man. They're worth it. They're worth, you know, every dime. So what if the mother's not giving them no children, no, uh, excuse me, no money? It's about them having a place to stay, some food, you know, the, the basic necessities of life. And of course, we know that money isn't the most important thing. Your time that you can invest with your children. Nothing is more important than us spending quality time with our children. Letting them know that we love them, that we care for them. Letting, speaking positive affirmations into their head. Positive statements. Letting them know that they can do anything they desire. They can be whatever they desire to be of righteousness if they just apply themselves and get the knowledge overnight. Well, not overnight. Take that back. With time, in due time, they can become a giant in whatever they aspire to. So let's speak positive words to our babies. Let's speak positive words to the mother of our children. Let's speak positive words to each other, brothers and sisters. I'm signing off. Peace.